Hey, welcome in everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create some great seasonal content for your Dactronix display. You can actually create something that looks like this and you can do it completely for free. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do that in today's video. All right, let's get started here. So for starters, what you want to do, log into your Venus Control Suite account, click the little drop down arrow next to add new. And of course I'm in my media library here and go to explore free content. It's a little link that we put in there. That's actually going to take you over to this website. And this is where you can find some of the seasonal content for your Dactronix display. So on this site, if I go under content packages, you can go to this theme right down here, which is seasonal. And of course we know creating seasonal content for your display kind of grabs people's attention, gets them looking at your display. Um, everybody likes seeing that kind of stuff up there this time of year. So you can scroll through these packages. I will tell you one that recently came out here is this fall and winter weather package. Um, this one's completely free and it really includes some nice looking images. We're going to use one of the images from this package uh, today in our presentation. Actually we're going to use um, an animation. So check that out. The other place on this site you can go to is under building blocks right here and then graphic elements. You see where that is right there. If I go in here, again, these are some smaller images. So these are uh, categorized into different themes here. We are going to look for holidays November through January. And the difference here is these are smaller images so when you're looking through the sizes here, you want to pick the size that matches your display height. And you might think, okay, well, how do I know how tall my display is? Since you're in your media library here in Venus Control Suite, you can find your display dimensions right over here on the right. So I'm, one of my displays I'm going to go for is my 250 by 140 display right here. So I know that it's 140 pixels tall. So when I'm looking for my package here, I would be looking for this 140 high holidays graphic elements. You're just going to go through, click buy on that, go through that process to download that those images to your computer. And now I'm going to show you how you can put together that content. So if you've got questions on how to get through that process, download the images, unzip the file, that kind of thing, check out the link below this video. I'm actually uh, going to put a link in there. I created a previous video that actually talks you through that whole process of downloading the images, unzipping the file, and then just having them on your computer. So check that out. Once you get those packages downloaded or once you've picked out the content that you like, um, then you can go to, I'm going to go to content studio today. So, um, in the past I've showed you guys a lot of how to put this content together in the uh, new web presentation tool, which is right here. But if you have downloaded and installed content studio in the past, you know that you can do a few more things in content studio and, um, it gives you a little bit more flexibility. So let's show you how to do that here. This is just a blank canvas that I have right now. So for starters, I'm going to bring in my background image. Um, oh, so this is actually the package that uh, fall and winter weather package. You can see it's some really great stuff. We've got a blizzard, we've got a snowy cabin, we've got a cozy fireplace there. So really some nice content. I've got another folder here where I've got everything ready to go. So to, for starters, to bring in my background animation, all I'm going to do is from my computer, just click and drag and drop this right on my screen. And with any luck, that will uh, pull up there. Yep, so I'm getting this import window. Um, since this animation is ready to go and it's already sized up for my display, you can see it's 250 by 140. I don't need to do anything with this window. I'm just going to click import right here. So that's good to go. Um, that is a pre-existing animation. So if I come down here and click play, we can just test and make sure that's working. It fits the display. It looks great. All right, next, let's go back to my window here. I want to bring in these images. So I'm just going to bring these in real quick. I've actually got four of them here. So I'm bringing in some bells. We'll see how fast I can move my mouse today. Sometimes I get a little bit slow. 
So I've got a couple of bells I want to put in the upper left and upper right. Those look kind of cool. I like these mistletoe images as well. So again, I'm just clicking and dragging and dropping them right on my screen. I get this import window. Um, you can do some cropping in this window if you ever need to. So if I just wanted like one of the leaves of this mistletoe for some reason, I don't know why I would want that. But if you wanted that, you can just crop there really easily and click import. And then it will just bring in um, that portion of the image. But I want the whole thing here. So I'm going to click import. And you'll notice these images, these are transparent PNG images. So you can see through them. There's not like a, a background that's going to cover up the rest of your message there. So once you, once you bring in these images, whoops, it's just a matter of resizing them until they kind of look good on there. And this one is misbehaving on me. I don't know why. I'll just do control Z a couple times here. And if I hold the shift key, when I resize this, it should keep the aspect ratio of width to height in theory. It's been a little funky on me today, but if you do hold that shift key down, it will stop you from uh, making it a scrunchy size or, or whatever you want to call that. Uh, but I'm resizing these. I'm going to put these in the corners of my display. And then I'm going to bring my bells down in size just a little bit more as well. I just kind of want them to kind of highlight my message. So I brought in those images. I've got my background image. All I've got left to do here is to bring in some text. And you can make this message, you know, whatever you want. I'm going to make mine so it just says Happy Holidays. But if you wanted to have it be related to your business or related to an event that you have coming up, that's absolutely something that you can do. Um, I am going to put a two or three pixel black outline around my text just because there's those little bit of snowflakes that are going behind it and that'll help that text stand out from the background. Um, so I brought in that text box. Another trick that I, I've showed you guys before, I'll just talk about it again, is if you just copy paste your text boxes I just did control C and then control V on my keyboard to copy and paste. And what's nice about that, of course, is that I don't have to select my text size and my font and all of those options again. I'm just getting a copy of that text box that I had and then I switched out my text there. That's looking pretty good. I kind of like the white. I, I, I honestly haven't decided if I like that white text better or if going with like a red text is kind of fun too. So, you know, you can make that call on your own. Either one is going to stand out nicely and you'll be able to read it. Um, I'm going to zoom this out to 100% and click play. And there's my, my message. Um, happy holidays. You know, we've got those kind of fun holiday themed images in the corners. Um, that's how you can create some really nice looking content for your Dactronics display for the holidays. Hopefully that helped you out with knowing how to use those background images as well as those additional um, transparent PNG images in your messages. Uh, definitely check out the links below the description uh, in the description of the video. I'm going to put direct links in there to the building blocks uh, holiday content. So that's where you can go and find those bells and the mistletoe images and those type of things. I'll also put a direct link in there to the fall and uh, the what is it called? The winter content package, fall and winter weather, whatever it's called. Um, you'll find the link in there. Check those out, download that content and start putting together some holiday content for your Dactronics display. Thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you next time.